Welcome Waffle Wolfettes, we are back with the brilliant Lawn Mowing Simulator on PlayStation 5 and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video we had to do a contract where we were stuck in the delicious rain and it made the grass very soggy so we had to drive around relatively slowly and constantly keep emptying our hopper because of the soggy grass that was filling it up so the previous contract wasn't fun at all, but we managed to get it done. We didn't get any um, time bonus. We were well over the time limit. And we also got a collision fee because Dave over here, the Formula One driver, drived head first into the bloody tractor like a psychopath. So we had to pay 25p in uh, collision fees, which is uh, pretty low to be honest. But still, that's 25p out of my pocket. So I'll be making sure I take that out of Dave's pocket when I give him his wage slip. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to be doing today is first things first, I've now got £2,002, so we are going to upgrade our headquarters. Now, uh, I think it takes a few days. Yeah, upgrade time takes a week. So, well, we won't see our upgrade for the next seven days, but once it finishes, we're going to have an additional bay so we can buy ourselves a brand new lawnmower that we can start using. And then we can save this one for uh, our employee to use. Uh, when we get a first employee. So let's get straight into things. Upgrade done. Now we've only got £502 left, so I'm going to make sure I keep that for any payments I need to make. Because I think we need to pay like £250 a month just on like our headquarters, like rent, I think. Yeah, the maintenance, I should say. £250 a month. Sweet. Should we do some advertising whilst we're here? Cost 250. We're going to do some advertising as well. And we'll get 210 reputation. As your rep goes up, more and more people want to apply towards your company, I think. And uh, also, they're more skilled people the higher your reputation. Instead of it being like apprentices, you'll get like better, better people. Uh. Guess we'll do this one. This one's going to take a very long time, so I better get straight into it. This is a very, very beautiful level, but it's there's so many twists and turns that you have to deal with. I mean, you're going to see right now. 27 minutes, 5.5 to 6.5 centimeters. That's very specific. That's very annoying. Why so specific? <laughs> But you can see all the little twists and turns. It's constant circles and uh, it's very easy for chunks of grass to be left behind. And then you have to drive up and down here with a bloody lawnmower as well. So that's a nightmare. You might hit the flowers. And as you can see, a ton of flowers you might hit. We're definitely not going to get this done in the time limit. We might be close, but... Oh shit, I need to clear off the grass first. Four obstacles. Objects, I should say. Where's all the bloody objects? Well, they're all over this side or something. Is that a snake? Or some dog crap or something? I'm assuming that the placement of these uh, objects is going to be... I swear we're picking up dog crap. Is there like nothing over this side? There has to be something somewhere. Sometimes there's like a little tiny bloody rock. So you have to be right on it for it to pop up. Oh no, there were... Look at that. A pair of garden shears right on the flipping grass. Look like there was blood on it as well. <laughs> Must be cutting the uh, grass of Freddy Krueger's house or something. Or Michael Myers. Okay. I'm going to drive down very, very slowly. Oh, I should have emptied the hopper as well. I have to do that now. I 
I think I felt a, uh, once again, I felt a buzz. So I probably collided with something then. <laughs> Who knows, I've given up at this point, trying to not collide with anything. Literally bringing the grass of somebody else's house, soggy, dirty grass, probably gone brown as well, from someone else's home to this property. They're going to be livid. <laughs> Oh. One perk about this is we're going to be able to uh, oh, get a bit close there, Dave. I know you're a Formula One driver, so you're very good at taking the inner track, but you've got to be careful, mate. You take down any of uh, Grandma Davilia's daisies, she's going to come out here with a frying pan. She's going to beat the shit out of you, mate. You think the crashes that you've suffered in your Formula One days are bad, you wait till Davilia comes out here with a fucking frying pan. It'll make you think that your Formula One days were uh, fun. <laughs> they probably were fun, wouldn't they? I, mean, I, I wouldn't mind driving a Formula One car. I'd crash it several times, but I wouldn't mind driving it. Yeah, piss off, I'm driving at the speed I want to drive. We don't care no more. Dave's sick of it. He's sick of this uh, Sunday driving shit. He wants to go, put his pedal, pedal to the metal. He's sick of it. It's called pedal to the metal, isn't it? Every time I say it, I think I'm saying it wrong. This grass looks relatively short, actually. I feel like this mission, I think you can actually make a lot of progress very quickly with your lawnmower, but it's when you have to start dealing with the strimming. That's when it really, really slows you down. That You lose a lot of time. Now you could cut 10 tons of grass in 20 minutes, but then it takes you like 15 minutes to do the strimming. So it's uh, bloody annoying when you're barely cutting any grass with a strimmer. Just try and get as close as you can to the flower beds. That will probably help you out a bit. I've probably already left too much grass there, but this is just a YouTube playthrough. I'm not trying to achieve anything. I'm just having a good time with you guys and girls, you know. Not being chased by zombies. Not having to fight giant robotic machines. Not having to deliver the post to people that are never ever home, so I'm forced to leave it on the doorstep and then deal with complaints when it gets stolen. Not having to uh, inhale everything in sight and attack people with it. <laughs> Just drive around and cut some grass. Nice and simple. So we pick up the strimmer, that is. Oh shit! Oh crap! I've been cutting all the grass wrong! Oh no, I wasn't reading it! I thought it was moaning at my speed! Oh, I had it on five centimetres instead of six! No, and I can't restart it either. Can I restart? Is this going to be a restart or I'm just going to resume what I was doing? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, Wolf Wolf. Hurts. I thought I had it on six centimeters. It's because they 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 put it on five point. If they had put left it at five between five and six, like everyone else does. It wouldn't have caused any issues. But because they picked 5.5 and between 5.5 and 6.5, it. Yeah, that balls it up. <laughs> Idiots! I, th I thought we had it on 6 centimetres anyway, though, so we should have been fine. Is there five objects to find this time? I swear last time we only had to find four. This is the worst bit of the level. took down uh, Butch's tennis ball. Picked up Butch's tennis ball, I should say. Bloody, bloody sticks.
Sometimes I feel like I should just turn these notifications off because they make me panic. Like the warning that comes up 24-7. Sometimes obviously it's, uh, it's worth it because uh, I, I'm doing stupid stuff like I was doing a second ago. But uh, sometimes it's just a nightmare. Right, watch out for the daisies, mate. I know they're not daisies, but I don't know what flowers they are, so I'm just going to put them daisies, because why the hell not? Hey, look. You alright, Bob? How you doing, mate? How's the missus? Do you feel like saying when somebody says to you, Oh, morning. How's your missus? Don't you feel like saying None of your fucking business. <laughs> why are you asking me about my wife, mate? Why are you asking me about... Why are you so interested in my wife, mate? What... what? You want to go? That's what it feels like, doesn't it? Unless they know your wife, obviously. But if they don't know your wife, they're just like, how's your missus? You just feel like, oh, what are you bloody asking me for, eh? I'd just be like, she's perfectly fine, mate. She's married to me. <sighs> no one more successful than Dave, a Formula One driver who's so rich that he's able to just retire from his Formula One days and open up a grass cutting business. Mind you, he couldn't have been that rich because when he opened his grass cutting business, he didn't uh, really have that much, did he? Like after we bought our um, first lawnmower and strimmer, we had basically no money left, so he can't be that rich, unless he's just keeping it all in the bank like a typical rich person who never spends their money, but won't give it to anyone else or anything, just does nothing with it. They just get richer and richer. Um, if I ever become a billionaire for some reason, Wolf Wolf, it's because you never know what's going to happen in your life. You really don't bloody know. You could just become a billionaire tomorrow. You could have some random idea for anything that you just think is uh, stupid, but you do it anyway because if you've got any ideas in life, any dreams, you should you do them anyway. Just make sure you make sure you uh, chase your dreams, and then you could end up becoming a billionaire within the next year. You never know, Wolf Wolf. It's. If I do become a billionaire for some strange reason, I promise you right now I'm going to change so many people's lives, including all of you. There'll be a lot of stuff I do for the world. But I'll be very selective with what I do with it because I know people will be like, oh, you could end world hunger and stuff like that. I still wouldn't risk it. I'm not gonna give some random organization or someone that says to me, I like what they said, I think they said it to Elon Musk the other night, that if he gives them this amount of billions, they would be able to end world hunger. I wouldn't trust them. I'd give them those billions and then somehow people would still be hungry, so I wouldn't trust them. I'd rather just go around myself with my own money and just buy people meals, because then I know for a fact I'm making hungry people not hungry. I can't trust people with my money. It'll be me that does it all. That's for sure. But I'm never going to be a bloody billionaire, so it don't really matter, does it? People like me from bloody random council estates on the outskirts of Essex and London. Uh, we, we don't become billionaires. They don't want people like me getting uh, success because uh, they know the good we do for the world and we'd make everyone look bad, all the rich people look bad. So they, they want to keep people like us down. They don't, they don't want us to be successful. They're just some, someone like me running the country. Come on, I'd make every single political party look like shit. Absolute shit. I'd never lose an election, that's for sure. There would be some things that I would do that would be definitely controversial, that's for sure. But, oh well. You can't like every single policy I have, that's just life. But you'll like the good majority of them, that's for sure. Free PS5s for everyone, I think that's a good policy. <laughs> if you choose an Xbox, I'm sorry. Um, this PS5 is the only deal, I'm sorry. You want to play Xbox games? Use your bloody PC. There's no point in me buying you an Xbox. I might as well get you a PC. Get you a flipping gaming PC. And you can play all of the games in better quality. So what's the point? There ain't no point getting you an Xbox. So your choices will be Switch, PS5, or a gaming PC. Probably is best to invest in a gaming PC, to be honest, when you think about it, because obviously Xbox is, Microsoft is straight up PC and Xbox now. There's no such thing as an Xbox exclusive anymore. 
So you can play all of the games on PC. Then you've got the actual PC games themselves that don't release anywhere else, like the Total War games and the Dawn of War games, the MMOs like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, the strategy games like Dota and League of Legends and uh, Heroes of the Storm. You get all those games plus the Microsoft games. Sony's like slowly dipping their toes in the uh, PC stuff. We've got God of War on PC now. You've got Horizon on PC now. Um, Detroit Become Human was a weird one. I don't know what happened with that one. That was strange. Death Stranding was always confirmed for PC. I don't know why the PC community seemed to think that Death Stranding was like, uh, oh, Sony decided to release it on PC. No, it was always confirmed to be on PC. Maybe you should keep up with the news. So much for the master race, eh? You can't even keep up with some bloody news. <laughs> And then uh, obviously you've got the Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy are supposed to be on PC relatively soon. So they're dipping their toes in. But I, I reckon sooner or later they're going to straight up just release every game day one PC. They'll, they'll do it. I don't think they should because it makes PS5 just... It, it, there will be people that prefer to play on console. I, I would probably prefer it. I'm not sure actually. I don't know. I think I would just go straight up PC gaming I reckon. But there will be people that still want to play on console. But it will still... It will affect the sales, it will. Just like it did for Microsoft. But when that day comes, because I think it will happen eventually, Sony will release all their games on PC, day one. Um, you might as well have a game on PC, because you get to play everything. Not that there's enough time in the day to play everything, but you have the option of playing everything in one place. All your achievements and stuff in one place. I kind of wish Sony would make their own store. I know that would annoy PC players because they like using Steam, but yeah, having my PSN profile and all my trophies carry over to a new store and then buying it on PC, that would, that would be nice. Or somehow being able to log into Steam with a PSN account or something, just something like that would be good, I reckon. Yeah, I think that would be very nice. Uh, I, wish, I wish I could do some PC playthroughs on YouTube. I'm going to, I think what I will do, because uh, I've got an relatively good at recording lots of videos like for the last four since I came back to YouTube after I was ill for a bit and all that stuff happened at the beginning of the year since I came back I have basically recorded three videos or four sometimes every day except for the weekend so I've had a massive stockpile of video and I've been able to do double uploads regularly this year so I feel like when I start building up a stockpile like I normally do for August so that I can have like a big break from YouTube but still upload every day. I think what I might do throughout August when I'm not actually recording, I might just mess around with some PC stuff, maybe spend some money, which I don't like spending money on YouTube. I've spent too much already, but maybe spend a bit of money and see if I can get a setup where I can record PC games without much hassle. And then maybe we'll do some playthroughs like, um, like maybe I should do a, uh, one of the one of my most played games on PlayStation One, other than Crash Bandicoot and Oddworld, was um, Command and Conquer Red Alert. I played the shit out of that game. Oh man, I played that game so flipping much, and it's been remastered like two years ago for PC only. Don't know why it didn't come out on PlayStation. Bloody annoying. But maybe I'll give that a play. That'd be good. I could actually play against some other players. I don't know. I think I think the uh, I think the remaster did relatively well, I think people were happy with it. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll play that on YouTube. And then when I've done that playthrough, don't know how long that'll go on for, maybe we'll do uh, Rome Total War, the first one. Total War Rome. I think that was remastered, but I don't know if that was a good remaster or not, but I've got the original in the box, so I'll just play that. I think that'd be pretty good. Those playthroughs though, will be on par with this. If you find this boring, you'll probably find them boring. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's going to be a quiet taste as always, but there's always a variety on my channel. Even if I am playing a game like that, I'll probably be, probably be doing God of War Ragnarok at the same time. So there's always something for you guys and girls. There's always something for you. I try to keep it as different as I possibly can. I know generally I do story, action, adventure type games, but I try to keep it as, you know, different as possible. I really want to play Command & Conquer Red Alert now. I wonder if they'll have that, actually, because you've got that new PlayStation Plus service coming out soon, and they're going to have a bunch of uh, PS1, 2, 3, 
4 and PSP games, uh, depending on the tier you pick. So I wonder if they'll add Command & Conquer Red Alert, the original. I don't think they will, will they? Yeah. I know they've got Worms World Party that's supposed to have leaked as one of the games. Worms World Party was another game I played a lot on, on uh, the PS1. It's a Worms game. It was great. The amount of variety in weapons, the story mode. I think the story mode, I think in the campaign you actually played against Worms that were named after the royal family in England. Like you had literally a worm called Queen, then you had one called Harry, one called Charles, one called Philip, and then as you progress through the uh, campaign, more and more enemy worms appear, so more of the royal family would appear. I think there was one called Diane. <laughs> I, th I think that was Worms World Party. Now, what a great game that is. Obviously it's the 2D one, it's not the 3D one. Although I do love the 3D worm game. Worms for Mayhem. Oh. That right there, that's a game. You ain't played it, Wolf and Wolf, let's get it. I think they're still online turned on for it, actually. On the PS3. I think you can still, like, queue up online. Might be wrong, though. So we've got to do this mission in 27 minutes. We've done over 50%. Yeah, so really we would be on track to finish this mission, but it's once you get, once you pick up the, uh, once you pick up the strimmer, that's where it slows down because you've got to go so carefully because there's so many flowers everywhere. I nearly forgot to turn my blades off then, because you've got to turn off, uh, pick up your strimmer and go so slow and dodge all the flowers. It it's very detrimental to your end time. But the the mission that we're going to do after this, I think, was a very very easy one. It was pretty short as well, actually, which is surprising. This video is going to be like 40 minutes, ain't it? Easily 40 minutes. It's one of the longer ones. I think as you progress through this game, though, you get bigger equipment and stuff, and you finish contracts. I think you could start, like, cutting entire parks and stuff as well. It's a very, 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 pin, the pinnacle grass-cutting game this is. I don't know if there's any others, but this is a very good one. It's the only one I've ever played, mind you, so I shouldn't really comment, but it seems very good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go in circles for this bit. Just get rid of all this grass up here and then we ain't got to come up here again. <clears throat> Doing donuts at the moment. Oh, I've got another game. You know what, another game they should put on PlayStation Plus that people would enjoy. The Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh. Now they put that on now, I'm doing a playthrough straight away. Guarantee, whatever I'm doing, I'm going to do Simpsons Hit and Run as well. That right there is a classic. Basically Grand Theft Auto in the Simpsons world. I will leave that a little bit. Before I hit a flipping flower then. You see what I mean now, of all the little twists and turns. <laughs> Flipping nightmare. I mean, it's, it's a nice garden. It's a garden that's got some character to it, instead of it being a square, but if it was a square, it would be a lot easier to cut the grass. And it's very hi hilly as well. Now, cutting this kind of grass would be annoying. That's like my garden. My garden's got a few dips in it where it's a little bit hilly. So it's not a big garden, but there's a few, like, I don't know, they're like little hills. Because water always bloody collects there when it rains, and then that part of the garden will remain more soggy than the rest, even when the rest of the garden's dried up. Not that bit, that bit hasn't. I'm going to have to empty the hopper in a minute. Yeah, we can go around again, I reckon we can go around again, can't we? I reckon we can do another loop before we have to head back and cut the, uh, empty the hopper on me. Yeah, we definitely can do another loop. Might even be able to do another two loops. We're on half of our fuel at the moment. 
Once we start getting other employees though, and then you start being able to get multiple contracts on the go, that's when you're going to start making more money and then things will start picking up. We'll be able to start buying more machinery and stuff like that. It obviously starts off very slow, but any business starts off very slow. Of course it does. That's just life. Okay, right. very annoying way to enter the garden. What if I brought one of the bigger machines here? Maybe there's a limit. Maybe it'll warn me that I can't bring that machine or something. Alright, be careful Dave. Be careful. I know you're tempted to just go absolutely ballistic and drive over the flowers, but we can't be doing that. I'm still annoyed that I wasted three minutes cutting the grass at the wrong length. Do they come out of a ruler and measure the grass when I'm done? They literally come out here with a flipping straight edge and measure the grass, measure the grass, make sure I did uh, the length of it right. Because how the hell are they going to know? Maybe there's like on these like more fancier lawnmowers, maybe it tells you, maybe it's like, you know, there's like a little switch you can do that says like five centimeters, six centimeters, so you know how long the grass will be. Maybe that's it. there is something like that. Because on my lawnmower, there's like a little lever by the wheel and you just have like four different sizes. It doesn't tell you what the size is though. And then you just switch the lever over depending on how close you want the grass cut to be. But I don't know what it's like with these bad boys. This would be the best thing about having a big bit of land, being able to drive one of these around to cut your grass every day. Just like when you go golf. The only good thing about golf is the golf caddies. <laughs> Driving around on one of them bad boys. The tell what song I've got in my head at the moment. Linkin Park, Heavy. Absolutely legendary song. Uh, I wonder if, I do hope one day Linkin Park does make more music. Because there are always songs on their albums where Chester doesn't do any singing. So they could make an album like that, I suppose. Obviously it wouldn't be the same. And Chester's got one of those voices where you would not be able to replace it. I don't know, there might be someone out there. There's got to be somebody out there, just this random person in their home right now that could just perfectly sing like Chester. But then it would be, like, would Linkin Park want to work with him? Or her. Yeah. I suppose it would be difficult hiring somebody that sounds like your deceased friend. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be pretty awkward, I reckon. There's a shame. Absolute shame. What are you giving me a fuel warning for? If that's going to keep flashing red, that's going to aggravate me. We've got half a fucking tank left. Imagine if your car starts screaming at you when you're in half a tank. You'd be pissed. nearly went up on the bloody curb then. You big oh D Dave, right? Watch what you're doing, mate. I already have to deduct 25 pence from your wages after you collided with a bloody tractor. Don't make me do it again, mate. Next time I'll take even more off just because of the hassle you're causing me. So it'll be like, you know, one pound for destroying a flower and then ten pound for pissing me off. So sort your shit out, Dave. Relax. You're probably thinking to yourself, Warple first. Why are you blaming Dave? You're the one controlling the lawnmower. No, it's definitely not me. It's definitely Dave doing it. I can assure you it's not me. I'm not pro I'm not pro gamer, Warple first. I don't make mistakes. That'd be silly.
I should have been turning like this. When you put the full lock on it, you spin around like that. And you're not a bit, a bit more careful with your movements. You damage the grass and dirt, and then the game gets very mad at you, and then you get fined. <laughs> Once again, I felt a bzzz. <sighs> Doesn't really count as a collision. Let me fill up the fuel. Just in case I forget to do it. All right, how long we got? About five or five minutes and a bit. So really, it should be very easy, very easy to finish that with it, to finish this within the time limit, but we won't. Because we're gonna have to slow down so bloody much. Right, did that cut properly? Yeah, good. I always get a bit iffy with this strimmer now after that previous video where it wouldn't cut. Right, Dave, I know, I know you've been sitting down a lot, so you've got a lot of energy and you're probably feeling like going absolutely wild to try and finish this level within the time limit because of your days in the Formula 1 where you used to have to uh, get around the track in a certain time. So I know you're probably like really tempted to go, oh, go crazy now with a strimmer, but don't do it. Okay, if we go over the time limit, it don't matter. I'd rather take longer and do a good job. Just like uh, the Nintendo bloke always says. I always forget his bloody name. I think he's the Mario guy. A delayed game is eventually good. Because I don't know if we've killed any flowers in this playthrough yet, have we? I don't think we did. Can't remember. I know we've collided with basically every ghost in existence, but other than that, I don't know. Now I've got another Linkin Song Park song in my head. Because I'm cutting the grass right now, I've got sharp edges in my head. <laughs> sharp edges have consequences, I guess that I have to find out for myself. There you go, there you go, uh, Linkin Park, get me in there, get me in there. I was definitely hitting Chester's notes right there, definitely. Man, I bet Chester's looking down on me right now like B-Wolf, you bastard. What are you ruining my song, what are you ruining my song for? I apologise, Chester. Right, I can't go for it, I'm on camera right now. I'll get, em I'll get embarrassed, I'll get shy, mate. Tell you what, Wolf Wolf, I reckon I could sing pretty damn well. Maybe if I got the balls one day. Oh, man, shall I tell you what would be? Shall I tell you what, what would be the final, like, piece of therapy for me? There's video camera footage from my mum and dad. Bastards. Of me singing Backstreet Boys when I was a kid. You are my fire. The one, that one. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll upload that one day. Don't know how I would upload it, I'd have to just record my uh, TV screen, I guess, because they're on uh, tapes. But yeah, oh. Man, if, I, if I had the balls to upload that to YouTube, that's when I know that I've truly come, come to peace with my past. Yeah, that never be, that's never happened in Warfare Fest. Don't even get your hopes up. If I get a million subscribers, I will upload the video camera footage of me singing Backstreet Boys. I think there's a couple of them because I used to know all the songs. So if, I, if you ever get a million subscribers, I promise right now, clip this, save it to your, your phones, save it to your hard drives. I will upload it, I swear. Providing that I can find it. All the tapes are together, so I should be able to find it. Take a bit of time going through all the tapes to find it, but if I've got a million subs, it's fucking worth it. 
You guys and girls do the work and I'll provide the content. Get me a million subs and I will upload it. Me singing Backstreet Boys as a kid. I look like shit. I don't like how I look. Don't like Kid Beowulf at all. I still think I look like shit, mind you, but I, I worked much worse back then. That was when I was at the worst point in my life. But fuck it, I was singing Backstreet Boys. I feel like I'm exposing a lot of stuff about how I'm feeling lately in these uh, grass cutting lawnmower uh, simulator videos. Because I'm free to talk about anything and I'm talking about a lot of stuff that I'm thinking about. I'm, I might seem like a very depressing person. I do apologise, Wolf and Wolfettes. I hope, hopefully I don't. Not the happiest person, but yeah. I know I left a big chunk of grass over the other side uh, around the flower bed in the middle of the garden so we're going to have to go back and do that in a minute. Be very careful, Dave. How long we got? Oh, we're already past the limit. All right. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was 29. It's 27 and a half in it. Yeah. 27 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, we. I already know. I'm more concerned about uh, the bloody length of this video than the time it took me to cut the grass. Render time is going to be horrendous. A lot of these videos have gone way past 30 minutes. And trying to get them rendered it becomes a bit of a challenge. Especially when I'm doing free videos every day. Because then I end up with a load of files on my computer. And that's when things can go wrong. And I don't like that. As long as we get through the level without knocking down flowers and hopefully with no collision, but we can't even we can't even bloody uh, plan for that because the game puts a collision on me no matter what. But we should have done a good job. Because as long as you do a good job, even if you took a bit longer than you should have, I'm sure whoever hired you won't be mad. And if they are mad, I'll just be like, well, fuck you. Next time I'll, I'll rush and do a bad job. to do these centre bits there's a big one over the other side we have to do as well <clears throat> what about uh, what about this Yep. And we're going to have to... Oh, sweet, we're done. And we're doing a pretty good job of getting all the grass to be honest. And there's still a chunk over there. So we must be getting relatively close to 100%. Sometimes you finish a level and there's like so much, like you, you feel like you've done it all, but there's still so much left and you're, you're having a bit of a rough time trying to find those last bits of grass. Right, what do we want to do this fun now? Oh shit, I've run over the flowers. I hope that I don't break them. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Very, very picturesque. Oh, lovely. Probably getting attacked by bumblebees now. Lovely jubbly. So how long did that take? Fucking hell, I've been recording 40 minutes. Take off probably about five minutes of stupid intros that I did wrong. 
About 35 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Look at that. Miller Brook completed. Who would sit on that bench with that many flowers around them? You're just asking for trouble. We've got a nice little well over there. I didn't even notice the well. Little bird ass over there. Beautiful. Oh look, 50p in collision. Ah, oh, social media ad finished. Oh God. Weekly loss. Oh, that's because I spent a bunch of money. Yeah, on my vehicle purchase and stuff. Because we're still, this was the first week. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, okay. Oh look, I've got up to Credible. With your company's new reputation, people are applying to work for you. You can view applicants via the button below to learn about their experience level and wage costs. I ain't paying you no wages. I already got to pay Dave. As your reputation continues to grow, more people will apply for positions at your company. Sweet. Right, let's have a look who's here then. Each applicant will have their own wage demands and experience level. The higher the experience level of the applicant, the more money and RP they will make per contract. Once hired, you can increase the employee's experience level through training or by them completing contracts. His experience is journeyman. That's actually pretty good. But I've not got any equipment at the moment. I'm going to have to just leave you there, mate. I've not got no equipment at the moment, but that's good. He's a journeyman, so he's a bit, bit of a higher rank. But I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.